Um, I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Now, I'm risking a lot by saying this. Our theme this evening, and it will be in two sessions, is true and false church. The most important thing for you to carry away from these sessions is the fact that there is a true church and there is a false church. If you don't understand that, you are liable to be confused and deceived. You need help feeding your babies, God bless your darling heart, then you ought to be helped. But I'm going to tell you something, you need to be tithing off that help. That's your increase. You need to be tithing that. Well, dear Lord, Brother Copeland, I'm in poverty now. I know it. I'm telling you how to get out. That's the gospel. I don't care if you ain't got but two nickels. Give him the first one. Oh, yeah. For he has anointed me to do what? Preach the gospel to the poor. That's what the poor must hear. And in the gospel, giving is at the heart of breaking the curse of poverty. Oh, yeah. All right, now, taking a, a glimpse of the, the harlot, the false church, the first thing I want to say is that it exploits political power. Uh, it uses political power to obtain its end. I'm, like, you, you think that, like, well, Lord, to be transparent, I got news for you. Nothing's hidden. He sits in the theater room of your soul and sees everything that goes across your screen, guys. Your whole pornography thing, you think like no one knows it? God's watching it with you. What? He waits till you reach climax. God, if he only knew me. If he only knew me. If he only desired to know me, I would be his climax. No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> He's not mad. He just sees it. He sees it. In the frenzy and in the heat of, of, of a husband that is cheating on his wife, he sees it. He's right there in bed with you. Because we have dumbed down the gospel, because we're not preaching the true gospel, and we are using carnal means to attract people, if you use carnal means to attract men, you're going to attract carnal men. And you're going to have to keep using greater carnal means to keep them in the church. All right, folks, let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Bring it in for the coin toss. Want a good, clean game? Brian, as home team, you will call the coin in the air. This is the coin. This side is heads. This side is ta- No, this side is heads. This one is, you know, we'll just call it when it lands. <laughs> call it in the air. Tails is what I'll be kicking. It, uh, yeah, let's just go with tails. Would you like to kick or receive the Bible? I will receive. Tom wins the toss, chooses to receive the Bible. Patterson back with the kick. Oh, my goodness. Is that a touchback? Can you even get a touchback? First time in 18 years there's a touchback. For the kickoff, Super the Bowl glitter shoes going to work. Y'all done got too cute. Y'all done got too sophisticated. We too busy trying to be all educated because we want to draw intellectual people and we done drew dried up people. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me, but God told me, he said, the church is turning. He said, don't be discouraged at what you see out there. The church is turning and it's going back to holiness. It's going back to prayer. It's going back to travail. It's going back to all night prayer. It's going back to fasting. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's going back to prayer in church on Sundays and that's all we got through with. I'm not hearing y'all. It's going back to God interrupting the schedule. It's going, y'all ain't saying nothing in here. It's going back to you coming and thinking that you've been in prayer for an hour and you've been in there nine hours. It's going back to the realm of the supernatural. So you better get ready. I am convinced that in the name of Christianity, there are many places that call themselves churches, and they're not churches. And they have men leading them who call themselves pastors, and they're not pastors. 
And they have congregations who call themselves Christians, and they are not Christians. They're not churches, they're not pastors, and they're not Christians. And yet they proudly post the label Christian. There are only two possible options. There is a narrow gate that goes to heaven, and there is a broad road that says heaven but goes to hell. The narrow gate is hard to find and hard to go through because it demands denial of self, denial of self-righteousness, recognition of sin, full repentance. Recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. The assignment of our church, uh, Brad, <laughs> is to reclaim culture for That's the cause right. of Christ. Yes. Right. We can't let the devil have swag and surf. That's right. We can't let the devil have walk it out. We can't let the devil have this plastic red bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's not plastic. We got I don't know what it is. It's yeah. like it's something. I'm going to get a community where y'all can all, we can come over there and we can talk because we can't talk on other people's platforms. That's the problem. The only platform for gospel is these secular demonic uh, ninjas. That's the problem. We ain't got no space. So there has to be a certain level of compromise to be heard. We don't make it rain on strippers. We only reverence one stripper, and that's the one that took off glory to put on humanity and then get butt naked on a cross to die for both you and me. The only stripper I'm in love with is Jesus. Huh? And he's the one that puts that bread in my pocket. That bread in my pocket. I got bread in my pocket. Where it says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. Jesus warned us to be careful about what you listen to. The fundamental condition for belonging to God's people throughout the Bible, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, is listening to and obeying His voice. In the New Testament, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John chapter 10 verse 27. In the common sheepfolds of ancient times, the shepherd merely gave his distinctive call, and a sheep came out from the others, following him out of the sheepfold. Sheep are experts at discerning their shepherd's voice. The religious leaders wanted Jesus to speak plainly. And here he spoke more plainly than they probably wanted. Jesus previously told them they were not true shepherds. Here, Jesus told them they were not even true sheep because the Messiah's sheep believe and hear his voice.